Alright, so here we have a couple of different hearing aids. Well, these are called in the ear hearing aids. And if you look at the colors on the writing, you'll see that one is red and one is blue. The right one will always be red. The left one is going to be blue. If you look at the outside of the hearing aid, this is the part that people see from the outside of the ear. Um, you've got a couple of different things here. You've got a little pull string right there. It looks like a little antenna. It's not. That's just a fish line with a ball on the end of it. Um, that is just to get it out of the ear very easily without having to dig around inside the ear trying to pull the hearing aid out. So that little thing um, may stick out just a little bit, but it's there to make it a lot easier to get it out of the person's ear. Um, this part right here is your battery door. Okay, so to, at night, all you're going to have to do to turn this hearing aid off is just to open the battery door just like that. And you'll look inside and there's a little icon in there that shows you how the battery goes in. And we have some batteries here. This is a size 13 battery. It should last about oh, a week and a half to two weeks. When it starts going dead, the battery will make the hearing aid beep. So if the person reports that there is a beeping sound in the hearing aid, you'll need to change the battery. Now you just put that straight in to the battery holder. And if you look at it, it sits in there nice and neatly. Okay, So it's almost like a little cup holder in there. And when you shut the battery door, it should shut very, very easily. If you put it in backward, which is possible, but it's not easy. Put it in backward, it obviously doesn't look nearly as neat and it won't let me shut the door. So if you put it in there correctly, it should let you shut the door very, very easily. So to turn it on, all you have to do is shut the battery door, it turns itself on, it should be ready to go. This button up here at the top, um, for some hearing aids, I just completely turn it off. And what it does, it just keeps the person from pushing that button accidentally when I turn it off. If the veteran would like to have a volume control, we can change it to be a volume control. We can also change it to be a mute button. Um, for most purposes though, the hearing aid is very automatic. So we don't absolutely have to have a volume control or a mute button on the hearing aid because it's gonna handle itself in a lot of the different situations that the person is in. This end is the part that goes in the ear. So you have kind of two holes here. You have this smiley face sort of hole. That is a vent. And if you look at it, it goes all the way through the hearing aid. It comes out on the other side. That is to let the person's voice out of their ear. And it's also there to keep natural sounds um, coming in the ear naturally. Because we want to get the, that natural sound into the ear if we can. That part does not absolutely need to be cleaned thoroughly. I really wouldn't worry too much about it. If it gets completely plugged up, you can clean it out if you want to. Um, there should be a little brush inside the person's case. And that can uh, be used to kind of clean it out. It looks like this. And you can use that to, I always go outside of the hearing aid to the inside. And what that does, it pushes the wax back through this part because that's where the wax usually is. And you can clean it out with that. So also with this hearing aid, um, this little white spot here, this is a filter. And what that does, it keeps the wax out of the hearing aid. So you're going to need to change that approximately every month or so. Um, if it quits working though, you are going to have to change that a little sooner because most of the time when these quit working, um, it is because of the filter. So change that first before you call the office and say that the hearing aid isn't working um, because most of the time it's actually going to fix that problem. So to change it, you've got this little package of all of these little black sticks. So when you open that up, you'll have a whole, let me get that a little easier to see, um, a whole row of these black sticks. So you pull one out and if you look at the end of it, there's a little white thing right there and that is a new filter. At the other end is a little hook. So to change that filter, what you do is you take that hook and you're gonna poke it into the old filter. It's gonna grab onto it. All you have to do is pull it back out. So it removed it for you. And you're left with a little gray ring there to hold it in. And then you turn that stick around and on the other end is already a new filter. You poke it into the hole. It should come off the stick all by itself. So. That's it. 
That's all you have to do to change that filter. Like I said, do that about once a month um, or sooner if the hearing aid quits working. And that is pretty much all the maintenance you're going to have to worry about with this type of hearing aid.